Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah The seeking of Islamic knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim to a greater or lesser extent, depending on the level of their practice, what uh, actions in the religion that they require knowledge of. And every Muslim requires knowledge of Tawheed, because in this day, of age, day and age, the Islamic creed is being assaulted and there is kathrata shubahat, there are many doubts out there, wa kathrata shahawat, and many things which appeal to our desires to take us away from the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, طالب العلم فريدة على كل مسلم ومسلمة that seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim male and Muslim female. Why? Because you can't practice and come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly without bid'ah, without many mistakes, except through knowledge. Because you need knowledge of the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And your actions, all of your worship, all of your actions have to be based upon Tawheed, based upon sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ikhlas lillah, doing it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the worship should be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. Likewise, the second condition is that it is in conformity with the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And in this regard, I felt that it would be beneficial for us to study a new treatise, meaning start a new series uh, of durus in the book Al uh, Asul al Sunnah, uh, Asul al Sitta. This is the six principles by Imam Muhammad ibn Abd Abdul Wahhab, rahimahullah ta'ala. And it's a very beneficial treatise, a very basic and simple treaties, which is absolutely a necessary foundation for us to build our creed upon. Because we want to do those things which please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a manner that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which conforms to the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it is useful for us to mention a few ahadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and there are many ayat as well in the Quran which talks about the importance of knowledge and the importance of the people of knowledge, of the people of ilm and we ask that Allah makes us of them. And from those ahadith an Mu'awiyah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul مَنْ يَرَدَ اللَّهُ بِهِ خَيْرًا يَفَقْهُ فِي الدِّينِ وَإِنَّمَا أَنَا قَاسِمٌ وَاللَّهُ يُعْتِي وَلَنْ تَزَالَ هَذِهِ الْأُمَّةِ قَائِمَةً عَلَى أَمْرِ اللَّهِ لَا يَضُرُّهُمْ مَنْ خَالَفُهُمْ حَتَّى يَأْتِي أَمْرُ اللَّهِ In this hadith in Sahih Bukhari, narrated Muawiyah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said in a religious khutbah, he said, I heard Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, if Allah wants good for a person, he makes him comprehend the religion. I am just a distributor, but the grant is from Allah azza wa jal, meaning the tawfiq to remember and understand the religion that this nation will remain obedient to Allah's orders and they will not be harmed by anyone who will oppose them until Allah's order is established, meaning the day of judgment. So meaning by following the Quran and the Sunnah, 
by having knowledge of the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this will make a person, and practicing that knowledge, make a person bi'idnillah from ta'ifatah mansura, meaning the same sect, meaning that they have avoided uh, bid'ah wa mukhalifat that will take them away from the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and take them away from what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala wants for us. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala makes the path of Jannah easier for the one who traverses the path of knowledge. Uh, Allah, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, مَنْ سَلَّكَ تَرِيكًا يَلْتَلْمَسُهُ بِهِ عِلْمٍ سَحَلَ اللَّهُ لَهُ تَرِيكًا إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ So this means that whoever traverses the path of knowledge, then Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. And the Salaf used to say, طَلَبَ الْعِلْمِ طَلَبَ الْجَنَّةِ that seeking knowledge, Islamic knowledge meaning, not just be a, a doctor or a lawyer or a political science professor or what have you, or an engineer, but rather ilm al that the scholars refer to as ilm al meaning beneficial knowledge, the truly beneficial knowledge. Not that the other knowledge doesn't have benefit, but rather the truly beneficial knowledge that relates to the heart, which relates to your relationship with Eliza Wajal. So they used to say, Talab al ilm Talab al jinnah that seeking knowledge is seeking paradise. And that is in accordance with that hadith. Man salaka tariqan yal talmasuhu bi ilmin sahalallahu tariqan al jinnah Whoever traverses the path of knowledge, Allah, Allah will make easy for him the path to paradise. And in another hadith, that shows us the importance of knowledge and wanting to understand that knowledge and practice that knowledge and come closer to Allah Azza wa Jal is a hadith narrated Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said do not wish to be like anyone except in two cases the first is a person whom Allah has given wealth and he spends it righteously the second is the one whom Allah has given al-hikmah And, the pro uh, and he acts according to it and teaches it to others. And this is in Bukhari. So this shows us the importance of that fiqh fi deen, of understanding the religion. And that, first and foremost, min bab al-awla, that includes tawheed, understanding how to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, understanding that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that it's the haq, the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so we need to have knowledge of it. And so many people don't believe that. And so many Muslims think it's sufficient just to say, I'm a Muslim, and they avoid knowledge. They run and flee from knowledge and feel that they have spiritual guidance elsewhere. But this is a, a, a very serious mistake and can lead one to the hellfire. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ in a, another hadith which mentions talking about the superiority of knowledge and the person who learns knowledge narrated Abu Musa عنه, the Prophet وسلم, said the example of guidance and knowledge with which Allah has sent me is like abundant rain falling on the earth some of which was fertile soil that absorbed the rainwater and brought forth vegetation and grass in abundance. Another portion of it was hard and held the rainwater, and Allah benefited the people with it, and they utilized it for drinking. And a portion of it was barren, which could neither hold the water nor bring forth vegetation. The first example of the, is of the person who comprehends Allah's religion and gets benefit uh, from the knowledge which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed through me, meaning the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and learns and then teaches it to others. The last example is a person who does not care for it and does not take Allah's guidance revealed through me, meaning revealed through the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So ilm al nafia comes from following the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that's why, as we mentioned, 
ikhlas wa mutaba that we have sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that we follow the sunnah, the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that's the sabil al-mu'mineen. That's the way to salvation. That's the way to unity to the ummah and that's the way to better, better ourselves and to save ourselves from jahannam. Wa'adhaab al-qabr, wa'iyadhim billah, wa'iyakum min al-nar, wa'adhaab al-qabr. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. And the last hadith I want to mention in this regard is a hadith uh, narrated Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said from among the portents of the hour meaning the signs of, of Yom al-Qiyamah is number one religious knowledge will be taken away meaning by the death of, uh, of the ulama uh, second religious ig or ignorance will prevail and third drinking of alcoholic drinks will become common and fourth there will be a prevalence of open illegal sexual intercourse and this is in Bukhari. Habitifillah, as we see those signs, we see that zina is so easy now, easier than it's ever been, especially with social media and all the various ways to distract us and to destroy us. Likewise, the spreading of alcohol and, and, and khamr in its various forms. Now we have weed, medicinal herb, and stuff like this, which is a new challenge for us to face as a ummah. And Ignorance prevails, and we lose a lot of our major scholars, those ulama, those mountains, they die. And then those who are uh, after them, we still have mountains of knowledge, but they're elderly, and they're dying out. And they can't teach a lot of them like they used to be able to teach as often. And then other than them, we have other ulama that have great manzil and status. And some of the smaller ones make mistakes more than, of course, the big ulama. And the what about when we don't even have them in many places in the West? And we just ask this one on Sheikh Google. And we ask this one uh, on Sheikh Yah Yah Yahoo. And all these other things to distract us and give us ignorance and spread ignorance. And may Allah protect us from that. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. And that's why I encourage myself and my brothers and sisters. Ask the people of knowledge if you do not know. And the worst ignorance that we can have and be afflicted with is ignorance of Tawheed. And we'll talk about that in our discussion of the treaties. Just for the sake of clarification, this study, we will begin this study, bi'idnillah, approximately one week from today. And the way we will study this book is I will do the durus and I am recording it and will upload it on the YouTube channel and anyone is able to view. However, for those who want to receive a certificate, they must send me an email to greenkhalid at gmail.com and you can find it easily on my YouTube page. I think it's affiliated with that. And send an email and just say in one sentence that I wish to participate and get the certificate. You must do that before one week. And today for me is Sunday. So the next following Sunday by Sunday, anyone who wants a certificate, which is free, and it will be something that will be done. And for those who participated, they already in previous uh uh, certificate courses with me they already know the procedure so the important thing is to leave your full name as you want it spelled upon the uh, certificate no mis uh, mistakes be in law and you can correct me if I make a mistake on your certificate so leave me the name that you wish to have on your certificate and we will collect the names up to one week till next Sunday for those who want to participate and gain a certificate for this course, a free certificate. Uh, as far as the explanation, we will rely predominantly on an English explanation that has <coughs> been translated, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward the translator abundantly for such a great piece of work, which is a translation from one of our ulama, Sheikh uh, Zaid al-Madkhali, rahmatullahi alayhi, rahmatun wasi'ah, one of the ulama of Jizan uh, uh, pri uh, previously. And this great Imam passed uh, probably uh, about, I would imagine, about five years ago. So we will use his shah, or perhaps even 
longer than that, but I saw him prior to him dying in Medina when he came for a lecture, him and Alama Ahmed al Najmi, Rahmatullah alayhi, Rahmatin Wasia. And so we will use that sharh, but we will also benefit uh, abundantly, especially from uh, the sharh by Sheikh Salah bin Fuzan and by uh, Imam uh, uh, Muhammad Aman Ajami, Rahmatullah alayhi, Rahmatin Wasia. And these are some of our great ulama in this time, those who preceded and those who are still living, like Sheikh Salah bin Fuzan. So we'll use this as our our template for explaining this concise treatise. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.